Hey guys, welcome back to VR Essentials. We have some breaking news about a developer who was able to basically install the Vision Pro user interface inside of a Quest, which basically means you wouldn't have to actually spend so much money in experiencing what the Vision Pro may actually have on offer before it even comes out let's check this out this is absolutely amazing and by the way guys just want to very quickly let you know that we just did a video i just finished a live stream not too long ago about the virtual desktop update with the pico 4 using aceta corsa so do go and check out that video and make sure you skip to nine minutes so here's the article guys uh let me just get rid of this get rid of this get rid of that there we go so cue the apple lawyers someone got vision pro interface running on meta quest pro this is cutting edge news guys this is breaking news <laughs> all right so you may not need to spend 3005 on apple vision pro to experience part of what the vision os software has to offer that's because someone has managed to create a facsimile of apple software that will run on meta quest pro which while expensive at triple nine dollars doesn't cost nearly as much all right so basically they managed to get it working on the meta quest pro but by right it should also work on the quest 2 it makes reality as well so that's just a matter of time mm. and if you've tried it if you have a quest pro leave a comment below let us know if you're able to get hold of this and to make it work love to know get your thoughts and yeah that'd just be fantastic all right so take this this take on Vision OS has been made by Supernova Technologies with the goal of promoting the Nova UI framework for Unity. It's not a full-scale copy of the operating system and instead more like a demo. The idea is that you can test out Apple's eye-tracking centric interface and pinch click well before the Vision Pro makes it to the Apple Store shelves. That's because on the MetaQuest Pro, there is eye tracking as well. So of course, it makes sense that you're able to actually use this technology on the Quest Pro and perhaps not so much on the Quest 2. However, on the Quest 2, I guess the UI you could still test and also the hand tracking with the pinching stuff, but just not maybe the eye tracking part where you look at something and then automatically it knows what you're looking at and then you can you know, move on to the next scene or, or, or move on to the next interface just with the looks of your eyes. I think that is pretty amazing to know what's going on there using eye technology. I mean, we've come so far in, 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 in VR. It's just absolutely amazing. Leave a comment below if you love the fact as to how VR has gone using eye technology to be able to navigate in user interfaces comparing to previous technologies. The demo recreates Vision OS grid style app layout letting you navigate the menu and select apps hands-free just as you would with an actual vision pro i mean guys this is absolutely amazing do you think this is actually a apple again pr stunt to get them into the news to get more you know people talking about it or do you really think this is legit this is someone really going out there out of their way to just make things more interesting to make their technology more available than purely by Apple and this has got nothing to do with Apple. Leave a comment below. But either way, this sounds very, very interesting. Uh, unfortunately, this is about it. Um, and attempting to open an app doesn't do anything. All right, so basically you can move up and down and do some pinching, but it doesn't actually do anything at this moment in time. So here is actually a video. Let me just kill the music as to what you can actually do. So you point with the eyes, pinch to tap, and then you can basically move around and then just have this little demo. But as they said at the moment, so you can do scrolling, you can do that kind of stuff. Okay, this looks pretty interesting. I mean, again, the technology is pretty far considering that you are using eye tracking as well as your hands. Um, you know, that is pretty, pretty cool so what do you guys think of this i mean yeah what do you think of this actually we haven't finished reading so let me just go back oh man it's by the way it's 
3.30 in the morning here in Singapore, but bringing you live the news as I was just about to fall asleep. You can't load the demo on any headset you like either. Apple's Vision Pro base navigation means you need eye tracking. So this software has been built for the Meta Quest Pro rather than the cheaper Quest 2 or upcoming Quest 3 headset. Okay, so basically this does confirm that the Quest 3 will not have eye tracking. I mean, I would have thought that even though they said it wouldn't, it might, or maybe there might be a version of Quest 3 that's a bit more expensive, and that would explain why they thought the Quest 3 was going to be 900. Maybe there's a Quest 3 Plus or something, or Quest 3 Pro that would have eye tracking. I don't know. Have you heard any reports? What do you think, guys? We're just speculating here. Leave a comment below, but it sounds to me like it is confirmed that there will not be a eye tracking on the normal Quest 3 anyway. Upload VR also notes that the Quest Pro's tracking cameras are on the underside of the headset, unlike Apple, which has them pretty much everywhere. So that limits its finger tracking capabilities and means you need to keep your hands within the sensor's line of sight. However, the sight knows the eye tracking works reasonably well, provided you calibrate it first. So if you have a MetaQuest Pro handy and you want to get a very basic idea of how the OS on the vision race, in, excuse me, interface is going to work. You can try this demo out now. Oh, okay, so guys, you can try it now. Leave a comment below after you tried it. Love to get your thoughts on this thing found over at GitHub. So here's the link. There we go. And I'll put a link in the description below so you can access it directly to this video. Um, so, but if you'd rather wait and experience the full Vision Pro and Vision OS experience, it's rumored that Apple may be offering demo sessions at Apple stores in the near future, though you may have to make an appointment first rather than wandering off the street. Okay, fine. Uh, so the Vision Pro isn't available to pre-order just yet, but Apple will let you sign up for availability updates on its website at $3,500, etc., etc., etc. So guys, are you excited about this? Are you pumped about the Apple Vision Pro, by the way? I'd love to get your thoughts because some people are pro, some people are cons. You know, a lot of people seems to be in the US, they're not really for it, but people in Asia really love Apple. So it's quite interesting to to get the different sides of the nations of the world, you know, as to what they like, what they don't like. Um, so yeah, leave a comment below. Love to get your thoughts. Let us know where you're from as well. That would be awesome too. All right, guys, so that's it for the emergency news. Thanks again for watching. By the way, if you need lens prescription adapters, go for vr-wave.store. I've used them for two years. Link in the description below. You get 5% discount when you make an order using the promo code VREESSENTIALS. All right, take it easy. See you in another video tomorrow with some through the lens of the Pico 4 using the updated virtual desktop. See you later, guys. Bye for now. Bye-bye.